Hello, my name is Amy Powell. I'm with Westminster Canterbury on Chesapeake Bay. And today I'm gonna to be speaking with you about the global connection of aging services. When we think of our world, we think of this, the United States of America. And through my travels around the world, I've come to understand that aging is not a Virginia problem. It is not a United States of America problem. It is an issue that we all humans share across the world. So when addressing aging issues, we need to think globally and not just locally about these aging issues. 50% of our senior living workforce are from other countries. We make them conform to our language, our traditions, our holidays, and our way of doing things. We have so much to learn from our staff and from our residents for our staff and for our residents. Other parts of the globe lack basic things in life, such as clean water, clothing, food, medications. And these are the things that America has an abundance of. We should connect all of our resources to better serve our aging population. In traveling and visiting senior living communities in other countries and speaking with locals about how they treat and care for their elderly, it is eye-opening to understand how each country has a different perspective on aging and aging issues. Currently, two-thirds of the world's aging population now live in developing countries, and just in 30 years, eight out of 10 will live in these developing countries. We have so much to learn and so much to share with each other, and knowledge is the start. We should connect our best practices to better care for our aging population. So the next time you're on vacation, please remember that it is not just a beautiful place to visit and a beautiful vaca a beach to lie on. There's also a population living here that are facing aging issues too, just like us here in America. Let's think differently and let's connect our resources globally. Thank you. Mm -hmm.